And you're a rare breed then that you get to express with your art what you want to express as opposed to appearing on Flashpoint or appearing on this and having well, to fill in a character in someone else's narrative you don't really believe in. I mean, how many actors I meet on the street now who just don't believe in television anymore? They yeah. go, yeah, we do it, we make our money, but... Well, you know, it's interesting. I did do TV for years, too, because right when PBS, I... PBS, right? Uh, some PBS, but a lot of commercial stuff. You know, a lot of... I call it post-Muppet flapping, you know, <laughs> and like seriously, I would go to Montreal for months on end and do 156 episodes of that thing or 32 episodes of that thing. And they were all, you know, beautifully made, flappy mouth. I've got a pretty good lip sync, you know, and right, right. was getting paid crazy amounts of television money. Right. And I walked away from it. Before that market sort of dried up, there's not a lot of TV puppet work now, but at the height of it, I said, gotta stop because I was getting more interesting bookings for Tinka's New Dress and for Street of Blood. And right. um, I, I thought, well, there's only one life as far as I know, so I, I don't really want to sing any more songs about eat your broccoli or share or, you know, all that. In, because let's face it, the same exists in children's television. Children's television is filler for commercials to sell toys. And anyone who says differently is a liar. I've had network executives say, honey, really? Your 48 minutes of programming doesn't really matter to us. It's 12 minutes of commercial sales, you know, and that's what TV is, like you said. So those just weren't interesting discussions for me to have on a daily basis. And did your skill sets pick up and, you know, doing the furry doing animals? It. Oh, no. How many, how many years of furry animals did you do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I did a good 12 or 15 years of wow. furry animals on and off and, uh, you know, built stuff for TV and pitched series ideas because that's what everybody was doing. It was, you know, when I moved to New York when I was 19, that's right when the Muppet Show started right. and that was the boom of Muppets. So suddenly everybody put down their hand puppets and their rod puppets and their marionettes and everybody was making foam right. rubber stuff. But... Um, you know, so I kind of had a foot in each camp for a long time, but I just always, always kept looking at pictures of the old boys from the 30s and 40s and looking at their work thinking, that's so beautiful. I really just want to do that. But I was living in a culture that said no one does marionettes anymore. 